starting to snow. Snow! <laughs> Pepper and George love snow. George, let's catch snowflakes. <laughs> Pepper and George are catching snowflakes. Ooh. George has caught a snowflake. <laughs> Pepper has caught a snowflake. Ooh. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep on her toboggan. Whee! <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Wow! Susie, that looks fun. <laughs> We're all tobogganing on the big hill. There's lots of snow there. <laughs> Shall we climb up the big hill and watch the tobogganing? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa's friends are tobogganing on the big hill. <laughs> oh dear, George has slipped on the hill. You look funny, George. <laughs> George does not think it is funny. <laughs> it's quite easy to slip on the hill. Maybe I should carry George. Daddy, can you carry me too? <laughs> All right, Pepper. Just be careful you don't slip over, Daddy Pig. <laughs> don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, I've got an excellent sense of balance. <laughs> Let's have a race. Yes. yes. Ready, steady, go. Here we are, the top of the big hill. Do be careful you don't slip, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm not going to slip. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy is like a big toboggan. <laughs> We're going to win the race. Hooray! Peppa and George are the winners. George, let's play snowballs. Pepper has made a snowball. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a lot of fun. <laughs> George, come back, you little piggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, maybe this game is getting a little too rough. Sorry, George. George, let's build a snowman. <laughs> Pepper and George are making a snowman. First they make the body. George, this is the snowman's body. Now they make the snowman's head. Now he needs arms and eyes and a mouth. George has found some sticks for the snowman's arms. Pepper has found some stones for the snowman's eyes and mouth. This is his face. Now the snowman needs a nose. Pepper has got a carrot to make the snowman's nose. The snowman looks very happy, but maybe he is a bit cold. The snowman needs some clothes to keep it warm. <laughs> George has found some clothes to keep the snowman nice and warm. The snowman is wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Snow, Mommy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! <laughs> what? We are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Where's Daddy gone? 
It's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Peppa's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snowplow. Snowplows push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Mr. Bull. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. <laughs> Fun. Peppa and George have never been ice skating before. Now, George, you won't be very good at ice skating, so just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Squeak. Hello, Mummy Pig. We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Peppa's friends can ice skate very well. <laughs> Peppa wants to ice skate too. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Is this your first? I'm skating. Yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Peppa. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oopsie daisies. Ho ho. Silly daddy. <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push. Push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> Pepper Pig. <laughs> Santa's Grotto. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes. Have you? Oh, 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 of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <laughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a toy train. A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, ho, ho. I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. 
We've met before. Ah, uh, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father <laughs> Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Skating is easy, Pepper. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. <laughs> Purple.
Today, so Peppa and George cannot play outside. Daddy, it stopped raining. Can we go out to play? <laughs> All right, run along, you two. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa loves jumping in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Sorry, Mummy. <laughs> George likes to jump in muddy puddles too. George, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Peppa likes to look after her little brother, George. <laughs> George, let's find some more puddles. <laughs> Peppa and George are having a lot of fun. Peppa has found a little puddle. George has found a big puddle. <laughs> Look, George. There's a really big puddle. George wants to jump into the big puddle first. Stop, George. I must check if it's safe for you. Good. It is safe for you. <laughs> Sorry, George. It's only bad. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. Come on, George, let's go and show Daddy. <laughs> Let me think. Have you been watching television? No, no, Daddy. Have you just had a bath? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I know. You've been jumping in muddy puddles. Yes, yes, Daddy. We've been jumping in muddy puddles. Ho, oh, oh. ho. And look at the mess you're in. Ooh. Oh, well. It's only mud. Let's clean up quickly before Mummy sees the mess. Daddy, when we've cleaned up, will you and Mummy come and play too? Yes, we could all play in the garden. <laughs> Peppa and George are wearing their boots. Mummy and Daddy are wearing their boots. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, Daddy Pig, look at the mess you're in. 
It's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Full sail. <laughs> what noisy little ones you are. Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now, which is the button to close the roof? Ah! Whoa! Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> My lovely golden boots. I look fantastic. Whee! It's a coin. Wow. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> Bubble. <laughs> Teddy Dinosaur. Ah, Betty Polly! Vroom! Oh. <laughs> 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 
George's favourite toy is Mr. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> George loves Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Sometimes George likes to scare Pepper with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Too scary. <laughs> <laughs> At supper time, Mr. Dinosaur sits next to George. I beg your pardon? Was that you, George? Or was it Mr. Dinosaur? Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> At bath time, George shares his bath with Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Good night, Pepper. Good night, Bobby. Good night, George. And good night, Mr. Dinosaur. When George goes to bed, Mr. Dinosaur is tucked up with him. George's favourite game is throwing Mr. Dinosaur up in the air Whee! and catching him when he falls back down. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. <laughs> I win, Daddy! <laughs> oh, well done, Peppa. George? George, what's the matter? I'm sore. George, have you lost Mr Dinosaur? <laughs> George has lost Mr Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. We'll find Mr Dinosaur. It's a job for a detective. Daddy, what is a detective? A detective is a very important person who is good at finding things. Me, me! I'm good at finding things. All right. Peppa is the detective. George, I'm the detective. <laughs> I will help you find Mr Dinosaur. Maybe. The detective should ask George some simple questions. George, where's Mr Dinosaur? George does not know where Mr Dinosaur is. The detective could try and guess where Mr Dinosaur might be. I know. I know where he is. <laughs> George always has Mr Dinosaur with him in the bath. So Mr Dinosaur is in the bath. Mr. Dinosaur is not in the bath. Oh. I know. I know where Mr. Dinosaur is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur in his bed at night. <coughs> See, that's where he is. Mr. Dinosaur is not in George's bed. Oh. Maybe we should try the garden. Yes, the garden! <coughs> I was going to say that. Mr. Dinosaur. Mr. Dinosaur is very hard to find. Oh, Mr. Dinosaur isn't anywhere. George, you do love to throw Mr. Dinosaur in the air. I wonder if this time you threw Mr. Dinosaur just a bit too high. There he is! There he is! I saw him first! <laughs> 
Well done, Pepper. You really are a very good detective. <laughs> I'm sore. George is so happy to have Mr. Dinosaur back again. <laughs> Maybe it isn't a good idea to play with dinosaurs near trees. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we will be learning all about numbers. Does anybody know what numbers are for? Are numbers for counting? Yes, Peppa. Who would like to do some counting now? Me! 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 me. One. One dinosaur. Two. One, two. Two sandcastles. Three. One, two, three. Three candles. Four. One, two, three, four. Four bicycles. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five friends. Six. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Six ducks. <coughs> Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven toys. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boots. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine flowers. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten balloons. Counting to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> oh, you look tired, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm fine. I could skip to a hundred. <laughs> My favorite color is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Blue. George's favourite colour is blue. Red. Red car. <laughs> <laughs> orange. Orange carrot. I'm a carrot. <laughs> Yellow. Yellow boots. I love muddy puddles. <laughs> Green. Green dinosaur. Grrr. Eee, too scary. <laughs> <laughs> Blue. Blue sky. The sky. The blue sky. Purple. Purple worm. <laughs> Brown. Brown mud. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. Come on, George. Let's go and show Daddy. Pink. Pink tongue. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Black. Black spider. <laughs> White snow. <laughs> Pepper and George love making footprints in the snow. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yummy. A. A is for apple. Ouch. Mm. Mm. B. B is for butterfly. C is for car. <laughs> D. D is for dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> George loves Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> e. E is for egg. <laughs> <laughs> F. F is for frog. I'm a little froggy. I'm a little froggy. G. G is for George. <laughs> <laughs> H. H is for horn. I. I is for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Jack in the box. K. K is for kite. Daddy Pig flies the kite very well. Wow! Yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. L. L is for Lemonade. Finish. M. M is for muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Nurse Susie. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say ah. Ah. <laughs> o. O is for owl. P. P is for parrot. I am a clever parrot. <laughs> Q. Q is for quack. <laughs> R. R is for rain. It is raining today, so Pepper and George cannot play outside. S. S is for snowman. <laughs> Snowman is wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. T. T is for Teddy. 
here's some orange juice for you, Teddy. <coughs> what do you say? Thank you very much, Peppa. You're very welcome, Teddy. You. You is for Umbrella. V. V is for Violin. Oh. oh dear, I do not think it is meant to sound like that. W. W is for Worm. <laughs> X. X is for Xylophone. Y. Y is for yawn. Uh. Peppa, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. I am not sleepy at all. Z. Z is for zebra. Mr. Zebra, the postman, is delivering a parcel to Peppa's house. Parcel for you, Mr. Pig. Thank you, Mr. Zebra. <laughs> Goodbye. Very good. It is playtime. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dress up. Now you little piggies need to dress up for the pumpkin party. Pepper is dressing up as a witch. <laughs> Dress. Ooh. Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Magic one. I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> Very good cackling. <laughs> Hello, I'm a witch. <laughs> is waiting for her best friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa loves Susie. Susie loves Peppa. They are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, why don't you and Susie go and play in your bedroom? Yes, Bobby. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing in Peppa's bedroom. <laughs> so does George. No, George. This game is just for big girls. Go and play with your own toys. Peppa and Susie want to play on their own. I'm a toy. 
tiny little fairy princess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wave my magic wand <laughs> and turn you into a frog. <laughs> George doesn't like playing on his own. George wants to play too. No, George. I'm playing with Susie. You have to play somewhere else. George wants to play with Pepper. He feels a bit lonely. George, I need some help. I'm making chocolate chip cookies. Someone needs to lick out the bowl. <laughs> George likes helping Mummy make cookies. But he likes playing with Pepper more. <laughs> To be a doctor, but who's going to be the sick person? George. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> Hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. How about a plaster on it? <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh dear, you're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh no, what's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy, it's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I can hear him rumbling. I think you're hungry, Daddy. <laughs> then I think I need lots of cookies to make me better. <laughs> <laughs> and me. And me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, children! Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. <laughs> do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you, you look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly! <laughs> and rest! Now we're all warmed up, we can start! Start what? Your adventure! I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle! It doesn't look like a jungle! Where are the trees? You have to imagine it! The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but 
But it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. Hooray! Peppa, you're in charge of getting me fit. What should I do first? First, you must do some press-ups. Easy. One. Two. There. Very good, Daddy. Now I want you to do... 100. 100? Yes. Come on, children. Help me make lunch. I'll help as well. No, Daddy. You've got 100 press-ups to do. Oh. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> three. Mummy Pig, Peppa and George are in the five, kitchen making lunch. Six, Daddy Pig is seven, still doing his press-ups. Daddy is doing very nine, well. Ten. Yes. Eleven, I do hope he's not overdoing 12, it. I'll go and see. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Daddy Pig! You're cheating! You should be doing press-ups. Oh, uh, there was something interesting on the TV. Naughty Daddy. Maybe Daddy will have more success with my old exercise bike. Aha! This looks like fun. I'll be able to cycle and watch TV at the same time. It's impossible. This bike is too noisy. I can't hear the TV. You've got to get fit somehow. I know. You can use my bicycle. Yes, and then you'll get some fresh air as well. Daddy Pig is going to ride on Peppa's little bicycle. Daddy, these are the pedals, these are the brakes, and this is the bell. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa, I know. Bye-bye. Easy as pie. Getting fit is quite hard work. <sighs> <laughs> now I can get fit without having to pedal. Daddy Pig is going very fast. Oh, maybe I'd better slow down. Ah, the brakes aren't strong enough. Help! Ah! Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, go Rebecca, go. Go. <laughs> goal. Hooray. The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Yes, yes, it is. No, what it a isn't. lot of noise. Daddy. The boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. I'll be the referee. Me, 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 me. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal will win the game. Hooray! Where's the ball? <laughs> 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 goal! Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. Hooray! The boys win. Oh. oh! Football is a silly game. Just a moment. The boys scored in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? Hooray! Football is a great game. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking the stabilizers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilizers? Yes. You've never done it before. I can do it. I can, I can. Ah. <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. 
Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry, I've got you. You're doing really well, Pepper. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Just keep pedalling. Pepper is riding on her own without stabilizers. Daddy, you let go! <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <coughs> Daddy, Susie, Rebecca, look. I don't need my stabilizers anymore. <coughs> look at me. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Race you to Daddy's pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, look out! My pumpkin! I'm going to win! Peppa isn't looking where she is going. <laughs> oh dear. Peppa has squashed Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Sorry I squashed your pumpkin, Daddy. Never mind the pumpkin. The important thing is that you are okay. In future, you really must look where you are going. I promise I will, Daddy. Good. Anyway, now the pumpkin is broken, I can make it into pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie! And because Daddy Pig's pumpkin is so big, there will be enough pumpkin pie for everyone. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Jump off the diving boards now. Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown ups. Oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. Clever, <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. Ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not fair. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <laughs> it's not fair. We want Emily on our team. No, she's in our team. Stop arguing. You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. <laughs> the parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All right! I'm quite good at cricket. Yes. Well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop. But you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready, steady, go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. Hooray! Are we all ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. Whee! I'm winning. It's not a race, Peppa. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy. But I'm still winning. <laughs>
<laughs> now we're winning. <laughs> I don't like cycling uphill. Peppa, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, ducks. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? <laughs> OK, as long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready. You can start when I honk the horn, like this. <laughs> Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro. The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr Pig. I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. Whee! Stop! 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 <laughs> Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did he say go? I think so. Go! Go! Go on, Pepper. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. <laughs> Danny Dog is in the lead. Wait for me! Whee! I win! Well done, Peppa! The next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy. But you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> run, 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 run. Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Pepper, take... stop talking and run! Oh! Meow. <laughs> Keep, Keep running! Keep running! Keep running! Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Peppa. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day. The tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. No, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come, Come on, boys. Come on, pull. Come pull on, the girls. Pull. I am pulling. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win. Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. <laughs> We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy, why are all the leaves red and yellow? It's autumn time, Pepper. In the autumn, it gets a bit colder and the leaves change colour. <laughs> Muddy Puddle M U D D Y <laughs> Frog F R O G Frog <laughs> Wow
Family are visiting Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! <coughs> Donkey Pig! Papa Pig! Hello, my little ones. Come inside. We have a surprise. What is it? We have a new pet. Can you guess what it is? <coughs> dinosaur? No, it's not a dinosaur. <coughs> Come and see. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have a pet parrot. Pepper, George, this is our pet parrot. <coughs> She's called Polly. Pretty Polly. Ah! Pretty Polly! Wow! I am a clever parrot. Ah! I'm a clever parrot! <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Mummy, why does Polly copy everything that Granny says? That's what parrots do. I'll show you. Hello, Polly. Hello, Polly! What a sweet little parrot. What a sweet little parrot! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Tea time. Peppa, George, come on. There's chocolate cake. <laughs> come in, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George love eating chocolate cake, but today they are in a hurry to get back and play with Polly Parrot. Finished! <laughs> <laughs> what noisy little ones you are! Granny, <laughs> please can we leave the table and go and see Polly Parrot? Are you sure you've completely finished your cake? <laughs> Off you go then. <laughs> George, say something to Polly. George is a little bit shy. <coughs> Hello. George are really enjoying playing with Polly Parrot. I'm Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> George, say something. <laughs> Peppa and George are pretending to be parrots. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is thinking of something else to say to Polly Parrot. I'm a noisy parrot. <laughs> I'm a noisy parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, have you been playing with Polly? Yes, Granny. Polly is such a sweet parrot. Yes, Granny. 
I'm a clever parrot. I'm a noisy parrot! <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Pig. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. 
Who have we here? I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And what are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Papa. Papa. Hello. Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. <laughs> you must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror of the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> You are Peppa. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Peppa. Hello. I'm a little fairy princess. <laughs> I'm a witch. Meow. And I've got a magic wand. I've got a magic wand too. I can turn you into a frog. And I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oops. Sorry, Peppa. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm going to visit my grandma. <laughs> oh, you don't look like my grandma. <laughs> what big eyes do you have? <laughs> what big teeth do you have? <gasps> you are not grandma. You are the big bad wolf. Ooh. Help! Oh, help! But look who is here, just in time, Pedro the Hunter. Help, oh, help. Just in time, Pedro the Hunter. Pedro is a bit shy. Pedro, would you like me to come on with you? Yes, please. You are a very naughty wolf. <laughs> oh, saved you, Grandma. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Pedro, you were very good. <laughs> you were almost as good as me. <laughs> the Sleepy Princess. Once upon a time, in a castle, there lived a little princess. And she was called the Sleepy Princess. Daddy, why was she called that? I'll get to that later. Was the Sleepy Princess pretty? Yes, she was very pretty. She loved looking at herself in the mirror. I am so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was living at the castle? Uh, well... The others in the castle were the small prince, <coughs> Queen Mummy <coughs> and King Daddy. <coughs> That's right. They were all living there as well. Did King Daddy have a big tummy? Of course not. He was very handsome, like me. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, there was also a dragon. Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Oh, yes, it wasn't a dragon, it was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. Oh, dear. Maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> 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 A scary chicken! <laughs> 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 
Grandpa, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK, there's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party! And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Pepper, George. Shush! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Pepper is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Ah! Oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no, I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. And she stayed there for a hundred years. Yes, that's a nice story, Pepper. It is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, Susie. My mummy is in a blackberry bush and she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. George is awake. I saw. Grrr. George, you naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. <laughs> George! Night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <laughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, yes. Baby Bear said, that was magic porridge. 
it will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Hide and seek. <laughs> Peppa and George are playing hide-and-seek. It is George's turn to hide. He must quickly find somewhere to hide before Peppa finishes counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... <laughs> George has eight, found somewhere to hide, nine, just in time. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. Peppa has to find where George is hiding. Found you! Peppa has found George. George, I could see you too easily. Now it is Peppa's turn to hide. One, um, three. I'll help George to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. OK, George, open your eyes. George has to find where Peppa is hiding. Oh. Peppa isn't hiding under the table. George, have you thought of looking upstairs? <laughs> Pepper isn't under the bed. What was that strange noise? Pepper isn't behind the curtain. There is that strange noise again. What can it be? George has found where Peppa was hiding. George found me. Now it's Daddy's turn to hide. Oh, I think George should have another turn. But George isn't very good at hiding. I'm sure he'll be better this time. Close your eyes and start counting. One. Two. Oh, three. dear. Pepper will easily Four, find George. Five. George, six, come over here. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. Oh. George isn't hiding under the table. But George always hides under the table. Have you thought of looking upstairs? I know where he is. George is in the toy basket. Oh. George is not in the toy basket. Where can he be? Pepper cannot find George anywhere. Daddy, I can't find George anywhere. Oh, dear. I wonder where he can be. <laughs> Actually, I think there's something about George in this newspaper. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> George! Found you! <laughs> oh, George! That was a good place to hide. <laughs> George was hiding behind Daddy Pig's newspaper all the time. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa's seasons. <laughs> Autumn and winter. Press the play button. Make a profile by choosing a kite. Next time you play the game, choose the same kite to go back to where you left off. Choose your kite. Are you sure? Good choice! On cold days, Peppa and her family wear their hats and scarves and coats. I'll put the roof up. Oh, and let's get the heating on. Everyone nice and warm? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. Choose a game to play. <laughs> Fruit picking. First, the easy bit. Picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> Choose which place you'd like to go to. The trees, <laughs> the bushes, or the fruit and vegetable patch. Fruit and vegetable patch. Fill up your basket by picking from the fruit and vegetable patch. Keep picking. Nearly there. Almost full. You picked a lot of fruit. What would you like to make it into? Jam, fruit juice or cake? Jam. Swipe up and down to squash the fruits into jam. <laughs> Spread the lovely jam onto the toast. Peppa and George love the jam you've made. <laughs> well done. There's a new sticker waiting for you in your scrapbook. Would you like to play again? Or tap the green button to finish. Choose which game you want to play or go to your scrapbook. Build a snowman. George, let's build a snowman. Who will you make? Daddy Pig. Hello. First, let's make the body. Push the snowball along with your finger until you've made the shape. Great job. Now for the head. Push the snowball along with your finger until you've made the head shape. That's it. All done. Drag the decorations onto your snowman. You can choose the clothes they would usually wear or give them a new look. When you've finished, tap the green tick. When you've finished, tap the green tick. Let's see what Daddy Pig thinks of his snowman. Do you think he will like it? Your snowman design has given Daddy Pig a new look. He loves it. Well done. You've earned a brand new sticker for your scrapbook. You can go to your scrapbook now or add it in later. Would you like to play again?
or tap the green button to finish. Slide the thermometer down to see what happens to the weather when we go from autumn to winter. <laughs> the leaves are falling off the trees. It's starting to snow. Tobogganing. We're all tobogganing on the big hill. There's lots of snow there. <laughs> it's time for tobogganing. Would you like to play with Pepper or George? <laughs> Choose your toboggan from Miss Rabbit's shop. Swipe to pick a toboggan, then press the green done button. Choose a level. Easy, medium or hard. Medium. Help Pepper collect the snowflakes. Can you get even higher next time? Whee! Well done. Whee! <laughs> Whoosh! Whee! Can you get even higher next time? Great jumping! <laughs> well done! You've earned a brand new sticker for your scrapbook. You can go to your scrapbook now or add it in later. Would you like to play again? Or tap the green button to finish. It's time for tobogganing. Would you like to play with Pepper or George? <laughs> Choose your toboggan from Miss Rabbit's shop. Swipe to pick a toboggan, then press the green done button. Choose a level. Easy, medium or hard. Hard. Help George collect snowflakes. What Whee! a big jump! Whee! Well done! Whee! Whoosh! Whee! Wow, that was high! <laughs> Whee! Whee! That looked Whee! like fun! What a big jump! Whee! Well done! There's a new sticker waiting for you in your scrapbook. That was great! Tap the yellow button to have another go, or tap the green button if you've finished. Choose which game you want to play or go to your scrapbook. Environment. Choose whether you want to explore the autumn or the winter environment. See what you can discover by tapping or swiping different things. Autumn. It is very cold today. Pepper and George are wearing their hats, scarves, coats, mittens and boots. <laughs> Tap or swipe as you move around the scene. What can you find? Hello! Where did the tortoise go? Splish, splash, splosh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> done! Well done! You've earned a brand new sticker for your scrapbook. 
You can go to your scrapbook now, or add it in later. Choose a game to play. <laughs> environment. Choose whether you want to explore the autumn or the winter environment. See what you can discover by tapping or swiping different things. Winter. <laughs> it is very cold outside. Pepper and George must wear their hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> Come on, George! <laughs> Tap or swipe as you move around the scene. What can you find? <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Hello! Hello! Help George throw the snowballs at Pepper. Oh, Pepper, now the screen needs a wipe. Can you help? <laughs> done! Well done! There's a new sticker waiting for you in your scrapbook. Slide the thermometer down to see what happens to the weather when we go from autumn to winter. Change your profile or turn the music on and off. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Peppa and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy. <laughs> oh, what a lovely birthday surprise. And there are more surprises to come. Enjoy your birthday breakfast. Take your time. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. Quick, we have to get everything else ready. Daddy Pig has made a birthday cake for Mummy Pig. We've just got to put the candles on. <laughs> One, two... Here I come. Mummy Pig has finished her birthday breakfast. Mummy's coming. Oh, no. We're not ready yet. Uh, who is it? It's Mummy. Can I come in? No, no! <laughs> is there something secret going on? Uh, no. Nothing's going on. <laughs> but you can't come in. I see. <laughs> Mummy Pig, why don't you relax in the sitting room? That sounds nice. Well, it is your birthday. <laughs> OK, Peppa. I think I know what the sitting room is. <laughs> here's a nice magazine. Thank you, Peppa. And here's some pretty music. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> we need the same number of candles as Mummy's age. One, two... Three? Oh, dear. We haven't got nearly enough candles. Daddy, how old is Mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. Wow, really old. <laughs> you know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa Pig. George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. 
But in the end, I painted you a dinosaur. That's a lovely picture, Pepper. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George, what do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> Peppa Pig. OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy! Can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig. He's missing all the fun. Mummy, can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. <laughs> this is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. May I speak to Daddy Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Happy birthday, Daddy! <coughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye-bye. <coughs> Bye-bye. Happy birthday, birthday Daddy, Daddy Pig! Pig. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh, George, remember, it's a secret. Shh. <laughs> Pepper and George have buckets of water. Mummy Pig has balloons. <laughs> I wonder what Daddy Pig's birthday surprise can be. <laughs> Quick, back to the house. Daddy Pig is home from work. Happy birthday, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Wow, what a lot of candles. That's because you are very, very old, Daddy. <laughs> you must blow out all your candles in one go. <laughs> I'll do my best. <gasps> <laughs> and here's your birthday present. Thank you. New boots. Fantastic. Pepper Pig. What is it? A doll's dress. I can put it on Teddy. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Pepper. I didn't know Teddy was a girl, Teddy. Oh. Daddy. Of course Teddy's a girl. I love 
that my new dress? Thank you, everyone. <sniffs> You're welcome, Teddy. Don't get it dirty. Do you know what's happening next, Pepper? Yes! My friends are coming for my birthday party. And Daddy is doing a magic show. <laughs> no one will know the magician is your Daddy. You will introduce me as the Amazing Mysterio. The Amazing Mysterio. Yes, uh, the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here! <laughs> Yippee! Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Come on, children. The party is starting. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Peppa, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy! Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra! <gasps> wow! It's Teddy! Pepper Pig. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away! What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yee haw! <laughs> oh there! Put your life jackets on! <laughs> on Grandad Dog's boat, all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. <laughs> Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? Hello, Grandad Dog? I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! Hi, <laughs> The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the, the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Pepper and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Ah, got you. Grandad Dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? Tis mine. I won it fair and square. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh. You're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny! <laughs> this be the best pirate party ever! <laughs> oh, look. Someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Peppa? No, just George. Hmm, I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello? Oh, it's for you, Peppa. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. 
<laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Hello Mrs. Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Head, shoulders, knees and toes Just knees and dance toes. already! Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes, <laughs> knees and toes <laughs> This one is still blinking! You're out! Eyes and ears and bow. You're moving, George! You're out! <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out! <laughs> so Zaza is the winner! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> it's a big slide. Whee! 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 Wow! It's a big dinosaur. Yes, it's my whopping ginormous. Dinosaur slide! Ah, 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 ah. That is some dinosaur. He's a Brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name is Apatosaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Frankie Mike. We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grumpy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! 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 Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa George, what are you doing? We are wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a wriggly worm too. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. How do you do? I love you. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's find some more wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> A wiggly worm. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. You're a wiggly worm. You're a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. You're a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs>